Hey guys, Technimentary with the video for you guys. A follow up video to our previous video that we did on how to change the default weather location on your weather widget that we have here. By default, it's going to be Cupertino, but then you need to change it and it's slightly different. And we're making this video just to show you guys how this is done. This is going to be available only on iOS 14 and above. So if your phone does not support iOS or if you haven't updated to iOS 14 you're going to want to go ahead and update to iOS 14 so any device to, that is iPhone 6s and above will get this update and you can do that and to show you guys how this is done we're going to show you guys on a new phone where we updated to iOS 14 here but before we go ahead and get started if you guys are new to our channel we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways so make sure to hit that like and subscribe but also if you guys are in the market for a phenomenal device like the ones that we're holding up at a discounted price make sure you guys check out the link in the description section so to show you guys how this is done it's pretty straightforward once you upgraded or have iOS 14 downloaded and updated your phone you're going to simply want to create uh, this by first of course getting that widget and to get that app widget it's going to be pretty straightforward take any app that you have installed just going to press and hold till you see this pop-up menu comes up where it's going to say edit home screen you're going to want to click on edit home screen and hit that ok button once you have done that locate whatever page you want to add that widget to let's say we want to add it here we're going to go ahead and click on that plus sign on the left hand corner once we have that you'll notice all these widgets come up if you don't see that widget come up you can simply search for it for example weather here and if we search for it it'll show us the weather app and the options that we have we can do a small size medium size and large size so we're going to go with the medium size here and once we selected that we're going to say add widget we're going to click on that and once you click on that you'll see it's dancing around again and now this time we're going to hit that done button on the right hand top side and once you have done that as you can see here we have something like this now we have our widget but as you can see by default it's Cupertino, Cupertino, however you pronounce it, but we want to be able to change that default location. So how do you do that? Oh, it's pretty straightforward. You're going to press and hold, and once you press and hold, you're going to get another pop-up menu that comes up, and you're going to want to select the first option, Edit Widget. So you click on that. Once you click on that, you'll notice the default location again. You're going to want to click on that location, and this time around, you're going to want to search up your location or wherever you're nearby or wherever location you want the default uh, weather uh, updates for. So we're going to say Miami, for example, here for our, our demo purposes. So we're going to go Miami, Florida. And once we have done that, we're going to just click on anywhere on the screen. And as you can see, once you give it a second or two, it's going to update to that default location to wherever we select it and you can change it as many times as you want simply doing the same thing over and over again you can actually do is add more of the widget so maybe you want a small widget for another city you can simply press and hold uh, and then edit the home screen let's click on that plus again let's say I want another app widget again for weather and maybe this time I want a small one we're gonna hit app widget and as you can see you can arrange it however we want it maybe you want to move it around just like you would with any other apps um, and then hit that done button same thing you're going to press and hold edit widget and to show you guys you can change the location again uh, maybe this time I want something in California maybe let's go with San Diego San Diego California and then again as you can see location updated press anywhere and give it a second or two and as you can see now we're getting weather update for San Diego and Miami and you can keep on adding as many weather app widget that you want and keep on changing the location and that's how you go about changing the default location on the iPhone 12 Pro Max and any other device that you have this method will work on any device that gets the iOS 14 update that you get. So hopefully this video is helpful. If this video is helpful, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.